So recently I've gotten some comments and uh, questions uh, regarding how I make uh, gas tanks, uh, just small gas tanks for small engines out of uh, used uh, propane or uh, oxygen containers. Uh, this is the one pound propane. This one's MPS gas, but same difference. Uh, one pound container and this one is uh, oxygen container the same size but only holds 1.4 ounces um, the oxygen container actually is much safer to use um, just uh, attach it to your torch or whatever and make sure that's completely empty um, and then I'd just recommend uh, drilling a hole in the, the end or something just to make sure it's completely empty I uh, I tried cutting one in half one time and just the residual oxygen inside uh, caused a little blowtorch effect there that uh, ate some of the wall edge away but anyways uh, so the first thing of course here is uh, safety um, you can see here I have a, a blowtorch attached to the, the tank there and uh, I would uh, after that you're done using the tank for you know whatever make it, it, take an empty tank no point in you know bleeding part of a tank down uh, attach your torch to it open the valve up it'll do a little hissing maybe but then just leave it for like a week somewhere outside uh, and you know that's a safe area to bleed propane etc into because um, you don't want anything in the tank you want it completely empty so there's like there's no smell you, when you sniff the end of it there's absolutely no smell and then in this case this one was left at least a couple weeks um, I I drilled a hole in the center uh, very slowly to not uh, generate heat so that it guarantees that the tank is empty because when you start uh, cutting and welding on these things you know you make your first cut it's going to be sparks you don't want it to blow up on you so the safety is the number one uh, thing here. I don't want anybody getting killed trying to do this. And like I say, the oxygen tanks are much safer because, of course, oxygen isn't flammable. But it, once again, you have to make sure the tank's empty or it can have a little bit of a blowtorch effect there. But, you know, nothing as severe as a propane tank or an MPS gas tank blowing up on you. So it has to be empty. So, you know, leave it sit for like a week don't take any chances on uh, the tank not being empty and as I say drilling a small hole in it is a good idea but you gotta drill slow you don't want to generate enough heat that you know when it when it punches through the inside there you, you don't want any heat or spark or anything from the drill bit because once again it's all about safety here so I have a tank here that's been cut apart uh, the wall in it's only uh, about 32nd of an inch thick, 30, 32 thou is what it measured at. See inside there, there's a, this is like a safety relief valve or a fill valve or something and and I don't know, yeah you can see it in there. I end up leaving them in because uh, they're next to impossible to get out. And they cut the filler neck off of this. It's uh, about the thickest part on the whole tank. So anyway, I'll uh, end this section for now. So uh, here's the warning. I say uh, cutting or drilling an empty propane tank can be very dangerous. Let the tank sit outside with the valve open for at least a week uh, with a torch screwed into it or some way of uh, bleeding off the propane. Then remove the torch and push in the valve with a small uh, screwdriver uh, while you're wearing gloves and a safety eye shield. This is to uh, just guarantee that there's no propane in it and that the valve hasn't messed up and, uh, you know, etc. Then slowly drill a 1 8 inch hole in the side or end of the tank to be 100% sure the tank has only air in it. Uh, never do any of this near any flame source, especially furnaces, grinders, cigarettes, etc. Uh, as I say, uh, you know, propane can be uh, extremely dangerous same thing with the uh, MPS gas uh, and as I mentioned later that's one reason why using an oxygen tank for this is uh, a safer process but 
if you're uh, afraid to do any of this uh, don't don't make a tank this way this is just a uh, just an example of how I uh, make small gas tanks once again uh, safety is the top uh, priority here